love Hammer. The wand is the wand isn't for me, but like, well, I like the wand. I don't know, personal pick. What's up, bro? Play default junior then. No, nah, bro, I'm, I'm Ludwig all for life. Anyway, so yeah, we're pro we're gonna be seeing the junior ditto. Both these players have been on some amazing comments recently. Kept have just been getting these wins. Going on the grind. He even got flown out to glitch. Cannonator staying in SoCal, still getting his own wins. He's here in winner's quarters. Both these players so good with their character, and they have such love for it. Love for their characters. Ludwig and then Taylor plays. Can't wait till I can't wait till Ketchup goes inkling. <laughs> I would love to see that. That's a fair point. I know he won't. I've tried to convince him before, but he won't. I want to try that when like someone plays their own music but also puts game audio over. I wonder if it like helps. I'm gonna ask Taylor later. Like that just seems not I, redundant, I feel but like weird. It's more supposed to be noise canceling than anything else. Yeah. Well, like they're listening to their music, but like. You know, your headphones stuff gets through sometimes. You know, th those aren't the best for noise canceling. Actually, now that we talk about Ketchup and playing with music, Ketchup usually does play with like headphones in. But who cares? Either way, Junior did her winners quarters. We have a guaranteed Junior in uh, top six. I'm just the first eight. grab, and look at that 50, 60 percent. That was a bit of an overly aggressive side move from Tater right there. You know, he saw the Mecha Koopa start up and said, maybe I can just get through it faster. But yeah, that's something you do see from Tater a lot. He's one to just go really ham on these uh on these side Bs. I mean, a, a lot of times people not familiar with the character have a hard time punishing it, but Ketchup obviously very familiar. He's not gonna yeah. be missing those. Yeah, the He's way to punish it is just kind of hit him. Don't wait and shield. Just hit him before it comes out. Yeah, Use exactly. one of your disjointed moves. Gets that fair. Uh, Tater down, but not by far. Nah, not by much. Both these oh, oh, perfect. Maybe he was scared of the upbeat hitbox wire waited out and just didn't have the resources to. Oh my god, do you see that mecha Koopa hitbox? Yeah, Kedrup's been on some stuff, something else with these like Koopa Great players, players, the items, stuff like that. Yeah, it's on that grind, he's tired of losing. He's here to show that Koopa, uh, that the juniors are here to stay and, and they are competitive. Oh, yeah, catching that jump. So aggressively right now. Okay. You know, he, we, we were making fun of him for that super long Smash 4 Grand Final, but gotta do what you know, you gotta do to win. he's playing this aggressively, wants to get this set done quick. Great air dodge catch up, knowing that a lot of the juniors will uh, air dodge pass and then do that one landing hammer just in case they drop. But you know, once it drops, there's a lot of lag on there. I'm really surprised Tater didn't go for an L Smash right there after he crossed up his shield. Yeah, but Ketchup with an early F Smash is going honestly kind of surprising early, but with Mad Rage, I guess he can't be too surprised. Right, yeah, like you said, Ketchup up 3 to 1, 162%. He doesn't even look like he's worried. Yeah, and he knows that hammer's coming, just bases it out, gets the shield grab, and that's it's so that balling much. up here. Oh, damn it. Build a house on him. DIY combos, baby. It doesn't work as well when there's no hammer. I see what you mean. When there's what? When oh, there's, yeah. When there's no hammer. Catch up, tries a jab, but, uh, you know, Tater Dater gonna just uh, give him with the chest check. Yeah, the spin out route, there is a kill option. It will secure the stock, but Tater has a long way to go. Staying at 85% R's last stock. And I'm sure Ketchup won't be falling for that same trick again. Shoots a point blank with the Cannonball. Speaking of which, Cannonball is such a ridiculous move in that game. Jab, not going to kill yet because we're not at the ledge, but no Newt will get up one more time. Yeah, and at this percent, you know Ketchup's going to be looking for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that upper, that straight upper almost killed. Waits out for the spot, that was so good. Yeah, and Taylor again just trying to break through these mecha keepers with his own side beam, but just not working out very right back there. Well, that was some kind of magic trick right there. You know, sleight of hand, uh, diversion, whatever you want to call it. Wait, did he like, miss it? Watch the mecha Koopa. Watch the mecha Koopa. Watch the mecha Koopa. Here's a back air, by the way. By the way, I'm still here. That's so good with uh, these characters that incorporate item plays. You want to make sure you just divert the uh, your opponent so you get to walk up and get your uh, your own setup. You say, oh, I want to pick up this mecha Koopa so I can get my own setup. Then While you're doing that, Junior's walking at you. That used to drive me mad when like Diddy Kong would pull a banana and then I think he's gonna go grab it. He runs over and up smashes oh, me for running at him. That was the greatest bait. <laughs> Game two gonna be going back to PS2. Uh, Tater probably see, thinking that there wasn't anything wrong. He just kind of was a little too aggressive in these times and he lost some stock a little earlier than he should have. Yeah, but Ketchup with a quick response, evening up the percent, fifty something a piece, but these jabs do so much damage. Great landing with that nair to grab the Mecha Koopa and put out a hitbox. We ran up to each other and just shielded. <laughs> finally gets a finally gets the first hit out of a lot of neutral. 
Gatorator finally coming back, getting some hits of his own, bringing this back. Look at that near uh, shield probe, oh my gosh. Yeah, these two just throwing hitboxes out one after the other. They both want to take the first stock and have the momentum because when they get the first stock, they can play however they want. Oh. The jab's just coming out so quickly. Taternator no like, wanted to turn around and shield for the mix-up. He knew F-Smash had no lag, but that jab didn't care. I mean, between the shield damage from the forward smash as well as getting jab, you know, it's no surprise he couldn't get his shield up and block it. Taternator going out there trying to do as much as he can to secure the stock. But Ketchup is staying so patient on this ledge, he's not trying to panic or anything. As I say that, just gets booted in the face. Interesting jab, but running into it, dash, uh, dash animation can be a troublesome thing sometimes. Jabs Tato keeping this game rather even. Gets that down air. Oh, almost gets him on that platform. He's trading there. He's looking for the cannonball in the midst of all the mecha people play. Tato was focused on makes it connect now. Tato looking for jab in his own action. Oh, oh no. my god, did not, probably did not want to cross up with that oh, dash yeah, attack. No. As soon as it started, I'm like, Ketchup's jabbing at his shield and hoping it crosses up. As soon as he went to the other uh, side of the stage, Ketchup knew, man, this stock is mine. Now, Tatornator in, in uh, danger of losing his winter side career over to Ketchup. He's looking not bad at 104%, but Tatornator has not been able to get many of these hits in Metal Kill, especially without taking too much damage. Oh, goes a little too low. Not something we really see from Ketchup, a little uncharacteristic. Yeah, got a little too comfortable. I was actually about to point out how good Cowboys have been. You know, he's been spacing around any sort of traps and Taylor's going in off stage, but that time he just kind of did himself in. It's not landing down there to be aggressive. Air dodges right into the dash tag. Right, great punish on the side B drum. I love how when either player are below the other player, it just instant up airs. The Mecha Koopa in hand, he gets it out just in time. That could have been very dangerous with how far out he was. I promise you, Tanner was just trying to get it out of here, please. I'm begging you. He's, I want nothing to do with this. Perry, they're playing catch right now. And Mecha Koopa has no allies. It's just out here to play. All right, gets that Nair, sent into a tech chase situation, but Tanner and actually going for it. Spends that time to set up, tries to grab him out of the Mecha Koopa throw himself. This is so close. Both parties know that, uh, that the next hit will possibly win, especially here on the ledge. Yeah, and great recovery once again from Ketchup. I've been saying how he's been avoiding these upbeats from Terranir and making it back to stage, and that's so crucial for him. Terranir taking a big risk going above Ketchup. He knows that uh, a straight upper will kill at this percent. Tries to go for the jab and stuff, but Ketchup coming on immediately aggressive. Yeah, Ketchup says, that's my move. I know when you're looking for it. Look and he's Ketchup's looking for. Out. That was so good, he knows it's one of Taylor's go-to kill options yeah. when things aren't looking grim. He's just gonna go for the surprise spin out. Tater, or catch up with a little dash back, says, you're going here, I'm going to up 